Five minutes left. The pressure cooker. <gasps> Don't chill too hard. I see you. Talk about pressure. Anxiety. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin', everybody? I'm your host, Conceited, and this is MTV Sneak Awards. We're the only show where two shoe customizers go head to head and kick to kick. But not only for bragging rights, but for a chance to take home the Sneak Award trophy. Each sneakerhead must take one classic kick, one fire theme, and one secret element to remix them into a never before seen creation. Somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. And of course, as always, I did not come alone. So with me today are my co-judges. You seen her on Wildin' Out. She's also an NBA host and sneaker influencer, Brittany Elena. <laughs> and of course, we got the sneaker head of all sneaker heads, my man, Sean Witherspoon. What up? How What's you up, doing? Man? Chilling. Are you ready to see some kicks? Happy to be here, y'all. Can't wait. To my left, we have Nicole, AKA Cat. Hey, I'm Nicole, and I'm the owner of Caddy Customs. My custom shoes cost anywhere between $250 to about $1,500. One of my favorite customers was Victor Oladipo. He's a professional basketball player. He was a thingamajig on the Mass Singer, and it was cool to customize the shoe to match that. Going against the cold, we have my man, the Sneaker Mechanic. Yo, what's up? My name is Ben Johnson, AKA the Sneaker Mechanic, and I'm a full-time sneaker customizer from Temecula, California. So my shoes range from anywhere from 250 to, say, like 1,000 bucks. I've worked with Tyga, Billie Eilish, The Game, and a few other NFL players and stuff like that. So are y'all ready to see what shoe we're going to be customizing today? Yeah. I'm ready, man. Let's bring them out. The Balenciaga Speed Trainers. This shoe fuses luxury with street, making it one comfy sock you can rock. And for such a luxury shoe, we want to take today's theme to an extra special event. We're going to the prom. And now the must-use element. Reflective material. These shoes gotta shine. Let's get some time up on the clock, and let's get it popping. What I feel about the prom theme, I thought it was amazing. Prom is very special. It's really a time for a person to ring their inner beauty out. <laughs> really, I always thought of prom as like, really the time to kind of show out. You know, I wear like a whole tux. It was a really fun experience for me. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. Yeah, I'm really hyped. If we ever get a pair of these in our store, post them on the Instagram, they are gone. And like, I'm telling you, it's one of those shoes where, is there? yo, 15 people might come in in an hour just to get them. When you customize an expensive designer shoe, does that lower the value? Or do you think it? raises it up. When we're not talking, it's silent. Are y'all even like, breathing? Like yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So I noticed that you don't have anything sketched on. It's all freehand. Yeah, everything is freehand. My specialty is doing everything freehand, using no stencils, no taping, no anything, just straight to it. I'm on a time crunch right now, and I don't want anything to slow me down. So right now what I'm doing, I'm painting the midsole black, and then from there I'm going to go ahead and paint the upper part of the shoe red. The whole goal is to make it look like a tuxedo. From there, what I'm going to do is add the glitter along the midsole, and then add the bow tie onto the upper part, and then add all the reflective materials on the shoe. What up, Ben? How are you? Good, bro. How Good, much? Man. You don't have to tell us too much, but what's your plan for the shoe? I'm excited. I'm, you know. Close your ears. <laughs> yeah, OK. So when they first gave me the idea of prom, the first kind of thought that comes to my mind is like a Goodfellas, kind of early 1900s kind of vibe. After I got the bass lines down, I'm gonna go ahead and mix some black paint and some fabric thinner. Because it's a mesh material, I wanna make sure that the fabric is nice and soft and that the paint can really ease into the cracks. And with these shoes, they always have shoelaces on them. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and poke some holes into the shoe and add some eyelets. I see you've worked with, um, you did some for Billie Eilish. It was cool, man. You know, her style is so crazy. Yo, she's got real dope style. <laughs> she's very kind of out there and exotic. And um, I did some Takashi Murakami Air Force ones for her with some chain laces. Yeah, she really liked them. 30 minutes. There we go. The pressure cooker. That's when you see all the talent comes just flying out. Ben, where did you get the name Sneaker Mechanic? I was thinking the same thing looking at his shoe. Honestly, bro, my brother was a mechanic, and uh, we just started to get to thinking, bro. And I like cars. Sneaker mechanic. I like shoes and cars. Combine the two. And Nicole, where does Caddy come from? Are you just a... <laughs> Caddy person? Or? Yeah. It came to me in a dream. A dream? Are you sure? Yeah, Hi. absolutely. With my logo and everything. Do you find that you have a lot of dreams like that that like inspire yeah, you to? Yeah, absolutely. How'd you come up with conceited? Because like you're not cute. Dream? Who's not? <laughs> Okay. Is that a croissant? No. Wow. That's so cute. Wow. You're so girly. 
It's like these shoes are going to prom together. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left. Man, time to get stressed. Anxiety. <laughs> Yo, the black laces, though. It's a good look. Of course. It's a good look. He transformed it. Like I said, that looks like a hard shoe. Ben got the whole godfather thing. Yep. She got the whole godmother. I want to wear that. <laughs> Instead of heels, I'm wearing that. No, those are fire. If Batman had to go to prom, I could see him wearing those. Is she having a gas mask? What's going on? I'm so happy. I've been waiting for someone to put on the gas mask. <laughs> OK, Caddy Customs, I see you. I feel like we in the Resident Evil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's getting stressed out there, hand shaking. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, six, five, four, three, two. One. Time's up, time's up, time's up. That's it. Let's see. Ben, what you got? I went with a kind of early 1900s Goodfellas classic tuxedo dress shoe. I wanted to give the shoe a nice little shine, so I did some gold eyelets, gold shoelace tips, and then a gold little trim as well along the sides. It's just nice, clean, simple look. Caddy? The theme was prom, so I figured, you know, I'd change the shoe into an actual suit. I used the color red because that color pops. It screams. I added the boot in there, and then I also wanted to put the bow tie on top and add glitter to that. I also pulled out a diamond from the Hidden Elements to put inside the flower, and I thought that would make it pop and make it, like, stand out a little bit more. Let me go over with my co-judges. Put your kicks up. Give bring me. Them up. Give me. And y'all get kicked out. Wow. <laughs> Nice. I mean, they both fully transformed him. That's needless to say. This definitely looks like a whole new boot. Even how he added that white to make it look like it was a patent leather, like. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is more of an everyday wear shoe. I don't think of prom when I when I look at this it's shoe. It's not really. screaming prom. But yeah. with this, I see full blown like yeah, yeah. prom. prom Bow. Lose your virginity. Yeah, 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 for sure. I love the, the gold on the Balenciaga, the, the eyelids. It all looks Did so you even look perfect. at the little, like... Yeah, that's crazy. Buttons. And then one key thing, it's freehand. True, that's a big the deal. The precision on look the lines, lines, it's freehand. And I love no the mat, nothing. And she crazy. did that. I think we deliberated, and I think we got it. Think we got it? I think yeah, we got it. Call him in. Let's bring him in! All right, welcome back, welcome back. We're gonna start off with Drew Ben, Brittany. I love it. I love that you put the laces in it. You literally changed the shoe. Like, I see myself wearing this, not even just a prom, like, on a daily basis. I do wish that you put a little bit more of the hidden element. I do like that you have the gold a little bit, but I just feel like it just needed a little bit more of a pop. I love the full transformation, and I think you killed it, like, based on your, your theme, you know? Like, the good fellas, the Italian right, right, mobster. Right. I think for me, it like veered off a little bit of like the prom theme. Nonetheless, it's a, it's a great shoe. You killed it. Like the shine on the front it was low key genius. You know. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah. Moving on, Brittany. Girl, Nicole, you literally it speaks prom. You know, I love the bow. You use the hidden elements very well. Yeah, it's a great shoe. I tend to like more of a toned down shoe. Something that I see is like very approachable. You can pull it off the shelf and like wear it. But I mean, given the theme and, and everything, you killed it. All right, you guys both did great, but this is Sneak Awards. Somebody has to win, somebody has to lose, and the winner for today of the prom night is... Nicole. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I am so happy that I won, you guys. Like, this is like a dream come true. There are girls out here who customize shoes, and I want to inspire every girl who's into art, who want to customize sneakers or anything. Like, you can do this. You know, Nicole is a crazy good artist. You know, her shoe is insanely clean. She's ever willing to go against me again, bringing Nicole, but I'm humbled, and it was a great opportunity. Thank you all for watching. This was MTV Sneak Awards, and we'll see you next time when we all going to kick it. Peace. <laughs>